Hello everyone. So what we will do in this video is relate the definition of the derivative of a function to the slope of the tangent line. Okay, so let me first recall what we've seen, namely that the definition of the derivative is given by the following statement. So if I have a graph of a function, so now I'm getting away from uh, just the interpretation in terms of position and velocity, and I'm taking an arbitrary function f of x, where the x-axis here represents the variable x, and the y-axis is the function f of x. So I have some function here, and I take two points. I'm going to call the first point c and the second point c plus h, and the derivative, the way we defined it, was basically the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the x-coordinates, and then we took the limit where we send this point very, very close to this point, so we had a single, an object defined only at this point. So mathematically what we had was the, the y-coordinates, which is the function at c plus h minus the function at c, divided by c plus h minus c, which is h. Then I'm sending this point to here, which means I'm sending h to 0. Now the way I wrote it in the previous videos was this way, which is exactly the same thing, but here I'm defining the point here to be have coordinate x instead of c plus h, but the two things here are precisely equal. Okay, now how is that related to the tangent line of a curve? Well, let's first try to define what the tangent line is. So we'll start with the secant line. So what is a secant line? So if I take two points on my curve, so let me call the first point p, so first point here is the point c, f of c, and the second point I'll call q, which will be the point c plus h, f of c plus h. Now I have two points. I can define the secant line as being this line that is drawn in the picture here, which just goes through these two points. And if I want to write this equation, well, the easiest is probably to use the slope formula. So I can write the slope of this line as being just the difference in the y-coordinates over the difference in the c-coordinates. So the y-coordinates gives me f of c plus h minus f of c, and the x-coordinates gives me c plus h minus c. So in other words, I just get f of c plus h minus f of c divided by h. This is the slope of the secant line going through two, these two points. Now, how do we define the tangent line? So I told you that the tangent line was basically the line that just barely touches the point here. So if I want the tangent line at the point C, is the line that just touches the graph at this point. So one way to define it is to take this point here and bring it very, very, very close to the other point. You see what happens. So if I bring it like very close, then the secant line just becomes what I said was the tangent line. It becomes the line that barely just touches the graph. So if I actually send it to be extremely close, then I get this line, which is drawn in purple here, which is the tangent line to the graph. So that's how I define the tangent line. So mathematically, what, what does that mean? Well, what I'm doing here, so the tangent line here I can define as being the line that goes through the point P and has slope, so I'm going to write it as just m here. It has the slope given by the same expression, but where I'm sending the point c plus h very, very close to c. So in other words, I'm taking the limit as h goes to 0 of the slope of the secant line. This gives me the equation for the tangent line, for the slope of the tangent line here. Okay, so let me formalize that. So the definition of the tangent line to a curve y of x at a given point p is the line get, that goes through this point with slope given by the expression that I had here, or I could rewrite it in exactly the same way as this, where I'm just replacing c plus h by x. So I'm letting the coordinates of the other point be x instead of c plus h. But here it is. How, how great is that? If you go back two slides ago, we had the definition of the derivative. Well, it's just exactly the same thing. Right? Just look at it and you see that in fact f prime of c, so the derivative of my function at the point c, is exactly the same thing as m, which is the slope of the tangent line at the point p. Isn't it great? So this is exactly what I've been saying all along, so that derivative is very closely connected to the tangent line, and in fact it gives the slope of the tangent line at a point. So we will use that a lot this year.